<laughs> so um first thing is priming your eyelids i prime my eyelids with la pro conceal in the color tofi Then I went into my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, the third edition, and I went with this, um, I don't know, the color to me is more like on a red side, but um, because I'm dark skinned, it, didn't, it just came up like more like reddish pink on my eyelid, but um, in the palette, it, it's like the reddest one there. Um, and I'm just blending that in with a... Um, blending brush and just blend away like make sure you blend in really good So then to create my cut crease, I used um, the, LA Pro, um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This one I think was in the color medium beige. And then I used like a thick eyeliner brush so I can really make the crease how I wanted it to be. So... I create my cut crease I go back in with the same color that I use on my crease I'm um, above the cut crease and then I just blend that in more because I don't like how the the lines can be a little harsh so you just want to like go back and forth with adding and blending and just kind of play around with it until you get it to where you like it to be So then I went ahead and used um, the this Wet n Wild um, liquid eyeliner and I created like a wing um, liner but I didn't want something that was So then I put on my lashes and the lashes that I put on today is my Hollywood lashes they are available for purchase I will put the link below they are from my personal line um my lash line they're in my Beverly Hills set um from my Hollywood collection so I will put that in the link if you guys are interested but I, I then went and applied my lashes because you need lashes for this look it definitely definitely So after I've done all of that, I then went in with the same color and I added it underneath my eye. So then the next thing that I did was moved on to my face and I used um, Maybelline's Master Prime 
they have like all different kinds of like primers but this one in particular is for people who suffer from dry skin which I do and it's more hydrating so I put that um, all over my face and I also use a liquid um, highlighter just to help give me that glow that I want it so I'm just blending that all into my face So for foundation, I use the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. I think this is a new foundation. I'm not too sure. But I, I use it in the color Coco. And um, yeah, I really like how this foundation is. Like, oh my goodness. So anyhow, I use that on my... And then for highlighting, I use Maybelline's Fit Me concealer it is very similar to nars concealer um i use i think the color 130 and that's what i use to highlight so that goes underneath my eyes um my nose the bridge of my brows my chin my cupid's bow and yeah i just put that all over and then blend it in with Then I moved on to my Maybe a lot of Maybelline products. My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Oh my goodness, I'm like obsessed with that thing. I use nothing else. But I um use that just to set my concealer so it goes underneath, of course. And then also I do reverse contouring, which basically um because I've have I have hyperpigmentation on my um face. So I just kind of define my natural hyperpigmentation with the um, loose powder. That's basically what reverse um, contouring is. So that's what I did as well. So then last is my lipstick. And the, the colors that I went with was um, kind of similar to my eye makeup. But um, I wanted to do this ombre effect and that's pretty much what I did. Like a darker purple and then like a nude lip, to kind of, a nude color just to kind of give that ombre effect. So 